I've got a 2010 New Holland tractor. It's a T2310. And yesterday I had a problem where my clutch plate was stuck to my flywheel. And this may work. It worked for me. You can try it if you want to. And it may be a free fix. My problem was when I started the tractor, which you have to start the tractor in neutral because it's got an electromechanical safety feature in it. So you start the tractor in neutral. When you depress the clutch and you go to put it into gear, it just would not go. It was like hitting a brick wall. So I turned the tractor off and then I was able to shift that gear freely. The same thing, that's my forward and reverse gear there, by the way. My gear shift lever on the right side is one, two, three, four with a neutral position. And this would shift only with the tractor off. My low, medium, neutral, high shift lever would only shift with the tractor off. So with the tractor off, I put everything in neutral. I started the tractor. I was able to push my forward reverse lever into, into gear and this I had left in third gear. When I tried to shift this out of neutral, it started to grind the gears. So I immediately stopped, moved this lever back to neutral. I was then able to move this lever through its gears. Came back up here and I could not move that lever again. I went through several attempts. This lever was then moved back to low. Come back up here and I was stuck once again. I moved this to neutral and then this could go into forward or reverse. The problem was I could not get it into all of the three gears all at the same time that I needed to. But with the tractor off, I could freely move any of the gear levers into any position that I wanted to. So with the tractor running, I left this in low. Well, I went through a, a series of trying to put together a combination where I might be able to get the tractor into gear. And my final result was that I achieved was this had to be in low. I was then able to get this into forward gear. And then this lever here, I had to keep on wiggling it. And it, this took quite some time with my clutch pedal depressed. And then finally it popped up into third gear, which is here. Now, here's the problem. I'm in low here, which is like a granny gear. Forward, third, very slow moving combination. The problem is now once you're moving, you better have nothing in front of you because you will not get this tractor to stop unless you turn off the ignition. Even if you depress this, because the problem is your clutch plate is stuck to your flywheel. So this tractor, whatever combination you get, will continue to move even if you depress the clutch. So give yourself enough fuel, give yourself enough time, give yourself enough space and just drive the tractor. Now, as you're driving it, what I did is I, I have the acceleration lever, but I also have a pedal down here. And what I did is I kept it right around 2000 RPMs and then I just pulsed the tractor. And I drove it for about 35 to 40 minutes. And what happened was that clutch plate freed from the flywheel. And the way I was able to determine that is throughout that 40 minute period, I kept I kept on pushing in my clutch pedal, giving it some gas, and if the tractor just kept on going like the clutch pedal had not been depressed, then it was still it was still stuck. Eventually, like I said after about 40 minutes, I'd press in this and then the tractor coasted to a stop. I knew it was I knew it had freed up and then I, I ran through all my gears to make sure that everything was okay. Now, the reasons that this may happen, I have heard it could be that the tractor sits too long, could be low hydraulic fluid combined with the tractor sitting too long. It could be that if the tractor does sit too long, that the flywheel 
it develops maybe a little bit of surface rust and the clutch plate sticks to it. Regardless, that is how it freed up for me and hopefully it works for you. The other option, if you cannot get this combination into any gear, and like I said, I struggled with it for quite some time going through the different combinations. You have to bypass the electromechanical safety feature so that you can start the tractor in a in gear. I did not have to do that because, well, stubbornness finally got the tractor into gear. So anyways, I hope this helps if your tractor will is seemingly stuck and will not go into a gear and 40 minutes at a low speed i don't know if i drove maybe half a mile a mile but just just drive it make sure nothing's in front of you make sure you got a full tank of gas or enough gas anyway and that flywheel and that clutch plate should free up that's the end of the video hope it works for you leave a comment